Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, today we will take a look at some iconic weapons and I thought it would be fitting to uh, to start right next to our friend, the Forge Master. So with the next game update, there's a whole bunch of iconic weapons that will be added to PC Universe Online for players to use. So here we can see the Batman Weapon Style Pack, the Deathstroke, Starheart, Damian Wayne, and so on. So we'll take a look at all those weapons. So hang on to your butts, this should be a, a pretty big video. And for those wondering, this is the test server. The weapons are not on the live server just yet. As I'm recording this, uh, the weapons should be on the live server in about two weeks. If we're lucky, maybe they'll get there a bit before, but I expect about two weeks before we see those weapons in the game. So obviously, let us start with the Batman weapon style box. So from what I understand, these iconic weapons will drop in the game. And they will, got, they will drop from the characters that they're related to. So I assume the Batman weapon box will drop from Batman. Like the GCPD Night Shield will drop uh, probably from the GCPD Batman in the game. The Necron Staff will probably drop from Necron himself. I have to admit I'm not sure who's going to drop the Spear of Destiny. Uh, the Riddler Staff obviously should drop from the our friend the Riddler. Same as uh, like the Deathstroke uh, weapons should probably drop from Deathstroke so, so, uh, and so on. Although from what I understand we should be able to sell those weapons on the Broker. So if you do not get, get them as random drops in the game, uh, you might be able to buy them from the broker. Or if you decide to farm and farm and farm for those weapons in the game, you should be able to make a bit of cash by selling them on the broker. But uh, I'm probably uh, going a bit too fast. Uh, let's see when the game, when the weapons start dropping in the game, what actually happens. Also, I'm not sure in the game if you will get the Batman weapon style box or just one of the Batman weapon. Uh, let's open the box and see what's inside. So here basically we have a one-handed style and a dual wield style. Uh, let's select a dual wield. Uh, so sadly you only get one of the two. So I had to get some more boxes. So let us get the one-handed weapon style. So they're both called uh, Batman's Batarang, but one is one-handed, the other one is dual wield. So let's consume the two of them. So let's start by equipping a one-handed weapon, and let's equip Batman's Batarang. From what I understand, uh, these weapons will be color locked. There might be a few that we might be able to customize the colors, but most of them should be color locked. So here we can see Batman's Batarang. That's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool one-handed weapon. Ah, we can't throw it. I'm so sad now. So it pretty much acts as any other one-handed weapon. The one distinction is that it is an official Batman Batarang. So let us switch to dual wield. So it's pretty much the same Batarang, but there's two of them as opposed to only one. Uh, it's going to be very cool to throw a Batman's Batarang. Can't wait to give those to my Batman character. Although uh, it means that uh, my Batman uses uh, martial arts, so now I would have to use a uh, dual wield to be able to use those uh, those batarangs. Uh, I'll have to give it some thoughts. So I was going to do the boxes, but I'll actually do the individual weapons so that I can free up some room because uh, sadly I believe I'm going to need more boxes. So next let us consume the GCPD Night Shield. Ah, it's pretty cool looking. So I guess in this case, we probably can customize the colors. Oh yeah, so in this case, some of the colors like the police is color locked, but everything else, uh, we seem to be able to customize the colors. So if you wanted to recreate the, the GCPD Batman, I, it's gonna be a good option to be able to do that. Ah, uh, pretty cool. And seeing we already have the shield equipped, let's go with the Cybernetic Lex Energy Shield. Ah, uh, it's a pretty cool looking one. If it wasn't a Lex Force Shield, it would be perfect for a Green Lantern type character. Dang, we're gonna have a lot of staff. Uh, let's do the bow first. Let's get rid of that one. So this is going to be the official Green Arrow bow. Uh, 
sadly, it seems uh, it seems to be color locked. I guess it makes sense. It should be color locked to green, seeing how it belongs to our friend uh, Green Arrow. So overall, it's a pretty cool looking bow, and it is the official Green Arrow bow. So this is pretty much the last piece of the puzzle needed to recreate our friend Green Arrow. Now let's take a look at the hammer of our friend Steel. Ah, uh, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, there did seem to be some sort of glitch with the female version of the hammer. Uh, apparently someone posted uh, some images of the hammer on the forums and it wasn't quite uh, the correct hammer. I assume uh, by the time the, the DLC goes live, uh, they will probably have uh, fixed that. Or they'll probably fix that at some other point if they don't fix it right away. But uh, if you needed the official hammer for our friend Steel, here it is. And here we have the official axe of our friend Steppenwolf. Uh, it looks pretty much like the one. Uh, there's a Steppenwolf style in the game. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like the, the axe uh, from the style of our friend Steppenwolf. Uh, the one distinction is that it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, I have the Weapon Masteries, so if you see me trigger the Weapon Masteries by accident, it is just that. And next, let us take a look at Heat Waves Dual Pistols. I made a comment not too long ago that at this point, all we were really missing to record our friend uh, Heat Wave was uh, his, his uh, weapons, and now here it is. Although I could have sworn in the comics or even in the TV show, I could have sworn Heat Wave had only one gun. Uh, these are pretty cool looking guns. And uh, it's one of the few weapons that we seem to be able to uh, customize the colors if we want to. So next we will have a whole bunch of staffs. Let's start with the Riddler's staff. And let's see if we can change the colors. Oh yeah. Up. Again, we do have an official uh, Riddler style in the game. And this kind of looks like the back piece from our friend Riddler. Although much, much bigger. Not unlike uh, the axe for our friend Destiny. Uh, this was pretty much the last missing piece to recruit our friend uh, Riddler in DC World. A lot of those iconic weapons actually are the missing piece, uh, the, pretty much the final piece we needed to be able to recreate some of those characters. So next we have the Indigo Tribe Staff. Oh, and this one seems to be color locked. Uh, which makes sense, it should be uh, Indigo, seeing how it is for the Indigo Lanterns. Uh, pretty cool looking staff. And next we have Necron's Side Staff. Uh, that's going to be a popular one, especially seeing how we have the Death Vest in the game. So with the staff, we are going to be able to create a pretty good looking uh, Necron. Uh, and of course, it has to be black, with the Black Lantern on top. I can already see a whole bunch of the evil uh, Black Lantern using this. Or I can already see people recreating our friend Necron in DC World. Although strangely enough, the Death Vest is mostly used to recreate a Scorpion or characters from uh, Mortal Kombat as opposed to Necron, but I have a strong feeling that uh, this weapon will be a game changer. And next we have the Spear of Destiny. Uh, this is a pretty classic uh, artifact you see uh, in the DC Universe. And if you saw the Constantine movie, uh, actually we do see the, the tip of the Spear of Destiny. Ah, uh, pretty cool looking. I was hoping that we would get that. This should be like an artifact weapon. It should be an artifact that we use as a weapon. And uh, maybe at some point they will, uh, they will fix that. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. And here we have Zeus's Lightning Bolt Scepter. Uh, that's a pretty cool looking one. Next we have Aquaman's uh, Trident staff style. We already have uh, Aquaman's uh, Trident, so let's see how different it is. It kind of looks like the Trident in the back piece for the uh, the Drown style, which makes uh, some sort of sense. It, the Drown is actually uh, Mera. And the staff seems to be color locked. 
for Aquaman, I already had the staff. In this case, you can actually change the color of the staff, but it does support only one color. It's pretty much the same staff that you could get during the Summer Seasonal. So if you saw my video about the, the True King staff uh, Trident for the Summer Seasonal, uh, this is it. And this is the staff of Rewards and Punishment. I have no idea who this belongs to. I should know uh, who this belongs to, but off the top of my head, I, I can't uh, recall. But here you can see what it looks like. Now let's take a look at the Deathstroke's uh, weapon box styles. Uh, we have three weapons, so I'm gonna need uh, more boxes. So here we have a two-handed style, a one-handed style, and dual wield. So let's go for the two-handed style first. Then the one-handed style. And then we need one more box. And let's pick up the dual wheel style. So let us start with the one ended style. And I think we should be able to customize the colors of this one. Oh yeah. It's going to give us a nice uh, one-ended weapon or a two-ended one. I thought it would be a bit bigger for the two-ended weapon, but uh, actually it's the very same weapon, only the, the stance actually changes, well, which is fine, I guess. And dual wield. So again, the very same sword, but you can use uh, two of them as opposed to only the one. I don't remember seeing a uh, Deathstroke uh, dual, dual wielding swords, but uh, I haven't read the really Deathstroke comics, obviously. Or it could be from the New 52 again. And next we have our friend Wonder Woman. So here you have uh, the shield and the two swords. So let's start with the shield. sword and the other sword or for the shield uh, I already made a video about that uh, quite some time ago we actually did get the shield as a as a new reward with the Wonderverse DLC but uh, let's show it, show it again for those who maybe did not see that uh, the video so it's a pretty cool looking shield and we can actually change the colors of the shield so if you don't like the colors, don't worry, that can be changed. And next we have a one-handed sword. It's a nice looking sword. I vaguely seem to recall seeing it in the, I think it was in the Hush comics, but I could be misremembering. And I'm pretty sure we can change the colors. Oh yeah. So if you want to customize, customize the colors of your sword, you can. And there is a dual wheel version. So again, it's pretty much the same sword, just that you can actually uh, use two of them. And next, let us take a look at the God Killer sword weapon style. So again, there seems to be three different versions. So let's take them all. So let's go for the two-ended first. Okay, it makes sense. I thought the God Killer, it made me think of the Wonder Woman movie where she's called the, the God Killer. But this is actually from the Dark Knight's Metal. So next we have one-ended style. Ah, uh, it's a cool looking sword. 
I have to admit, I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. Dual wielding. Oh, yeah. So it's a pretty huge weapon to begin with. And uh, dual wielding two of them. Ah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty unrealistic. But uh, you have to remember that uh, odds are in DC World, there's probably a lot of characters that have super strength. So using a bigger sword, that shouldn't be an issue. And next we have Aqualas Water Blades. So we have two versions, one ended or dual wield. I'm a bit surprised that we don't have uh, two handed. So let's start with one ended. Oh yeah. So if you've been meaning to create an Aqualad type character, we have the official gear in the game. Obviously we have the water powers and now you're gonna have the, the official Aqualad sword to go with your character. And I have to admit, I would probably go with the dual wield. It looks even more cool uh, than just the one weapon. And next, let's take a look at Huntress's crossbow weapon. And uh, that's a weapon that's been highly requested ever since we saw the Huntress Legends and DC Row. So we do have a dual pistol version and a rifle version. So let us start with dual pistols. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is something that has been highly requested. Uh, sadly, the crossbows it seems to be color locked. So, uh, but it's a small price to pay to have uh, some pretty cool looking crossbows. Uh, let's take a look at the rifle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to be cool to use. And next we have the Starheart weapons. I would say this is probably linked to Alan Scott somehow. So let's go for the one-handed style. And the two-handed style. So let's start with one-handed style. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, that's going to be a nice addition. If you have a, an Alan Scott Reventer, we already had the armor from Kingdom Come. We add the orbital strike, and now we have the sword. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. And now let's go for two handed. Oh, yeah. I had a Alan Scott armory for quite some time. I guess I'm gonna have to recreate it and uh, guess what weapon I will use. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's something that we've been asking for a long time to be able to get the official iconic weapons of some of the characters. I one day announced that we would get artifacts. Uh, we thought that at least some of those artifacts would be some of those weapons. But uh, this is as good if not even better. Seeing how with the artifacts we would have to upgrade it a weapon. Here we can just equip the style and we're good to go. Next we have the weapon of the evil Ares. So here we have a one-handed weapon. And dual wheel. I thought we would get a two ended. So let's start with one ended. Ah, that's a pretty cool sword. Oh, yeah. And let's try dual wheel. Ah, yeah, these are great swords. Ah, that's probably going to be a popular option. Although there's a lot of cool choices, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be hard to choose. Uh, it's going to be an embarrassment of riches of iconic weapons to use for our characters. And next, let us try the Winter Blade. So there's going to be dual wield or one handed. So let's try one handed first. That's a pretty cool sword. I should know where this comes from, but uh, I guess I have a brain fart. I just can't recall uh, whose weapon this is supposed to be. And of course, dual wield. I'm a bit surprised that with some of those swords, you would have thought that it would have made a two-ended version for 
most of them, if not all of them. Uh, there might be some restrictions that I'm not aware of. And now let's take a look at the Sunblade. So again, dual wield. Or one-handed. So let's start with one-handed. Ah, that's a cool looking one. I can already see a lot of fire based character using the sword. Or even better yet, using two swords. Ah, these are cool looking. So vampires beware. And next we have the weather wizard. So he has dual wheel or one handed. So let's start with one handed. Ah, it's a wall. That is so cute. And I suspect. Oh, yeah, we can change the color. I probably support only one color. We can change the color of the wand if we want to. I can see a lot of Harry Potter characters uh, being created. Let's try dual wield. Uh, dual wielding magic wand. Ah, that's gonna be nasty. And next we have uh, Damien Wayne. Uh, let's see what kind of weapon he has. Of course, it has to be a katana. So there's dual wield. One handed. And two-handed. So let's start with one-handed. We already had a few, uh, uh, let's say, an embarrassment of riches when it comes to katana in the game, but now we're gonna have uh, one more option. So if you wanted to have uh, Damian Wayne's official katana, now you can. So let's try dual wield. Oh yeah. I made a Storm Shadow video not too long ago. I just this could be uh, this could be great for a Storm Shadow type character. And let us try two-handed. Uh, it seems a bit uh, seems a bit short for a two-handed weapon, but we have again we have plenty of katanas in the game, so we could easily use uh, another type of katanas if we want to go two-handed. And next we have Big Barda. So we have dual wield. And we have one handed. So let's start with one handed. Oh yeah, the Mega Rod. I was hoping we would get this at some point. We already had the, the Man Hunter uh, Baton. Now we're going to have the Mega Rod. And I believe... Maybe not. I thought maybe we could change the colors of the weapon. I guess I was wrong. And let us go for dual wield. Oh yeah. If somehow we can get the Nightwing uh, weapons, uh, this could be a good uh, alternative. Although, uh, we should be able to get the Nightwing weapons uh, nowadays, so that should be an issue. So next, let us go with the Gentleman Ghost. So this is going to be dual wield. One handed. Oh, and dual pistols. So let's start with one handed. Ah, yeah. Ah, that's a nice game. And uh, we have the trinket that can turn us into a, some sort of hologram. Which would work perfectly to recruit our friend uh, Gentleman Ghost. Uh, I guess uh, as soon as I manage to get my hand on this weapon, I'll have to make a Gentleman Ghost a video. I'll have to. I'll have no choice. And so now let's dual wield uh, those canes. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, these are pretty cool looking. Yeah, dual wielding two of these probably breaks a cannon a bit. But uh, sometimes the the rule of cool takes over. 
And let's go for the dual pistols. Uh, we already had some uh, flintlock uh, pistols that kind of look like that, but here uh, they have the texture of our friend uh, Gentleman Ghost. So that's a nice, uh, that's a nice touch. Ah, the dual pistols, one of, uh, the only weapon that can fire in two different directions at once. So next we have the Dead King's weapons. So one-handed style. And dual wield. So let's start with one-handed. Ah, that's a cool looking weapon. And it looks pretty much like the style uh, from the Primeval style. And let's try dual wield. Oh yeah. Again, obviously these are a bit big for a normal human to be able to dual wield. But uh, if you have a character that has some sort of super strength, it does make some sort of sense. Next we have the Penguin's Umbrella. Oh, uh, a lot of penguins will need more boxes. So we have a rifle style. Oh, open rifle style, closed rifle style. One-handed and dual wield. Well, let's take the one-handed and uh, let's go get some more boxes. So let's go for dual wield. So let us start with one-handed style. Ah! If you've been meaning to create a penguin type character, uh, this will be awesome. Obviously, we cannot really get the body type of the penguin. So you're going to have to create the penguin from the Gotham TV show or something like that. But uh, having an umbrella weapon will be pretty cool. Well, let's go for dual wield. Oh yeah. I can already hear people go wah, wah, wah. And now let's go for the close the rifle style. Oh, and we seem to be able to customize the colors of our umbrellas. Uh, that is cool. And now let's try the open version. Ah, uh, just like in the comics. I love it. We did see the, the umbrella, uh, the rifle umbrella in the Batman, Batman Return movie a little bit, but uh, it didn't use it very much. But uh, having the open version, uh, that's going to be really cool. And now let's try Mr. Freeze. So we have the rifle style and the dual pistols. So let us start with the rifle. Ah uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking gun. And we can customize the colors. Oh yeah. And now the dual pistols. Oh yeah. Next we have Harley Quinn. So we're gonna have the one-handed style, the two-handed style, and dual wheel. So let's start with one-handed. I mentioned that not too long ago that the hammer was pretty much the last thing, or the mallet I should say, is pretty much the last thing we will be seeing to create a pretty cool looking uh, Harley Quinn. Although that's not entirely accurate, we would need, uh, we have a few styles for Harley Quinn, but we don't have the classic Harley Quinn style for our characters, at least not at this point. So now let's go for two-handed. Oh yeah. So I can already uh, imagine using this with my Harley Quinn character. And of course, dual wield. 
because why not? I guess for Harley Quinn, unless they decide to give her super strength at some point, that doesn't really make sense, but I'm sure we could find ways to enhance her strength, give her some venom maybe. The sky's the limit. And of course, we have the Joker. We have the Joker scroll bar for dual wield. One handed. We have some pistols. And we have a long barrel pistol. So let us start with the crowbar. Oh, yeah. So if you have a Joker character, I'm pretty sure you were waiting for this weapon. And what's better than one crowbar? Two crowbars, of course. So if you ever wanted to dual wield the crowbars, now you can. And next we have the Joker's Trick Pistols. Oh, I see. So these are pretty, pretty long pistols. So what's gonna be the difference with the long barrel pistols? Okay, pretty much the same, they just don't have the flags at the end. Makes sense. And next, let's take a look at our friend Hawkman. So we're going to get a two-handed style and a one-handed style. So let's start with one-handed. Well, that's a pretty big uh, one-handed weapon. I have to admit I was waiting for an official Hawkman weapon uh, for my Hawkman character, but there's already a few uh, a few weapons I could use that kind of worked. And let's try the two-handed one. Yeah, this makes more sense for a two-handed weapon. And somehow the last one is Hawk Girl. So we're going to have dual wield or one ended. So let's start with one ended. Oh yeah. I have to admit I didn't care very much about Hot Girl for a long long time. Until of course she was in the Justice League animated series. And they did such a good job in the animated series that I've been, uh, I loved, I've been loving the character ever since. Even though they didn't really do a very good job in the comics uh, with her afterwards, but now nah, we can do And dual wield. And whether it's one ended or dual wield, uh, both options are pretty, pretty darn good. So there we go, guys. The new iconic weapons that we will have with the next DLC. So these will be random drops, so you're going to have to play uh, various missions, hoping to get uh, those weapons. And from what I understand, they will drop from the characters uh, that they're related to. So the Batman weapon will drop from Batman, the Deathstroke weapon will drop from Deathstroke. So you're going to have to find those characters within the game and try to get those weapons to drop for you once you defeat them. Again, I assume we're going to be able to sell them on the broker. So if somehow you're not lucky enough to be able to get them uh, as a drop, you should be able to get them on a broker. And of course, a question people often ask me is how can you make money in this universe online? Uh, if you can sell those weapons on a broker, that will be a great way to be able to make cash. I guarantee you some of those weapons will be highly demanded. So if you manage to be able to get some of those weapons, take a quick look at the broker and uh, see if you cannot make a quick buck selling those weapons.